Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem shortest path in undirected graph having a unit distance. So you will be given an undirected graph having unit weight means uh, the edge weights will be one. Now you need to find uh, the shortest distance from a given source. So they'll also be giving you a source to all the points. You have to find the shortest distance and if the path is not possible, then you need to put something like a minus one. So that is what you need to do. So assume that this is the particular given graph and this is the adjacency list of this given graph. And I am telling you that, hey, listen, uh, the source is zero in this case. So from zero, if I ask you, what is the distance to one? You will say the distance is one. If I ask you from zero, what is the distance to two? You will say that this is the distance two. So from zero, if I ask you, what is the distance to six? We will like this is the shortest distance three. So this is what you have to find from zero to all the given nodes. You have to find me the shortest distance. So how will we find the shortest path? Now we will be applying a plain BFS algorithm. How? I'll tell you that. So in the BFS algorithm, we'll start off with a Q data structure and we will store the node in the first place and the distance. So we'll be storing pairs in the Q data structure, a plain Q data structure. So since the source is given as zero, what we do is we insert zero comma zero. Why zero comma zero? Because you know, the distance taken to reach zero from zero will be zero, right? So that is what we will store in the queue initially, right? Next, we will be declaring a distance array of what size you see the number of nodes is eight. So make sure you declare such a size that you can fit in the index eight as well. So we'll be declaring a distance array of size nine over here so that we can fit in the index eight. Now all the places should be filled up with infinity. You can take a very big number, which cannot be your answer. Very, very big number. So what I've done is I'll, I'll be taking it as infinity. And remember, whatever source you are starting off with, just make sure you assign it with distance zero. Just make sure you rewrite infinity to distance zero. Now let's quickly start the algorithm. So initially, whatever is in the queue, just take it out and you say, okay, initially I have a node zero and I have a distance zero as well. Now what I will do is for the node zero, I'll try to figure out who are the adjacent nodes. And I see one is one of the adjacent nodes and three is one of the adjacent nodes. So node zero can go to a node, which is one, and it can also go to a node, which is three that can be easily, uh, you can easily get one and three from the adjacency list. Now tell me one thing, if you are at node zero and the distance taken is zero, and if you're trying to go to node one, and you know that all these edges are having unit widths, all these edges are having unit width. So can I say if this is taking a distance one and previously it was distance zero, this will be nothing but distance one. Can I say this in order to reach node one, you will be ending up to take distance one. So what you'll do is you will go to node one and you'll say previously, what distance did I take? Infinity. It means you never reached here. So now you're reaching with a distance one. So what you will do is you'll say, okay, now I'm reaching with a distance one. So can you please replace this with a distance one? And can you take this node one with a distance one and put that into the queue data structure? Similarly, this will also be distance one because if you have taken distance zero to reach node zero from here, a unit width will take it to distance one. So next you'll say three, you are taking a distance one and node three with a distance one will be put into the queue. Next. I can say the task of this one is done and you'll move to the next node, which is the next node. It's one. So I'll say node one has taken a distance of one. What does this signify? This signifies in order to reach from the source to the node one, I have consumed a distance of one. I've consumed a distance of one. Now node one has adjacent nodes as zero, two, three. That has three adjacent nodes, node zero, it has node two, it has node three. Again, you can figure these things out from the adjacency list. So I know this will be a plus one. This will be a plus one. This will be a plus one. If I consider about distances, because those are unit widths. Uh, so if I say the distance previously is one, now the distance will be two. So in order to reach node zero, the distance is two, but I have already reached here at a distance zero. Do I consider this? The answer to that will be, no, you don't need to take a smaller distance because we are looking for shortest paths. 
next what i'll do is i'll go to this one and i'll say how much is the distance two so let's see for node two have i reached here no infinity so i can reach it at a distance of two so node two at a two distance done you have put it into the queue and you have replaced the distance array as well now this is node three what you'll do you'll again update the distance to two let's quickly check for node three previously you have reached with a distance one which is sensible because if you directly traverse from zero you'll reach at a distance one why do you want to go via one by taking one plus one two so this will discard it this will be discarded so thereby i just get one guy two comma two which has been put into the queue data structure as well as i've initialized the distance array so what i can say now is the task for the node one is done i'll get the next node which is node three so let's get the next node node three and i'll take a distance of one now from three where can i go i can go to a node zero and i can go to a node four as well so over here if i get a node zero and that's a distance one so from three to node zero that will be another plus one this will be another plus plus one so this distance will be two and this distance will be two so let's quickly analyze does node zero has already been yes it has already been reached at a distance zero discarded has node four been reached no infinity so what i'll do is i'll take it to the distance two and i'll say four comma two to be inserted into the queue data structure node three is done now perfect i'll get the next guy two comma two so node two with a distance two perfect so next where can node two go let's analyze one and six so it can go to node one and node six so if it decides to go to node one what will be the distance plus one of the previous previous was two so distance three plus one of the previous or so distance three let's analyze node one node one has already been reached via distance one so why do you want to take it so this will be discarded node six has never been reached so you take the distance three yes you take the distance three and put it into your distance array so six comma three will be inserted into your distance and you'll update the distance array as well done let's see the next guy four comma two so four comma distance of two let's see who are the nodes of four it's three comma five so let's quickly take node of three and node of five and let's figure out what is the minimal distance so if i figure out the distance it will be plus one to it which will make a distance three this will be also plus one which will again make the distance to be three so let's analyze node three node three has already been reached with a distance one so i'll discard it what about node five node five is infinity node five is infinity so this is the first time i'm reaching at a distance of three so five comma three will be inserted into the q data structure so what i can do is i'll quickly now erase this off perfect let's get the next guy six so node six at a distance of three perfect so at node six where can i reach you can reach a lot of guys two five seven eight so what i'll do is i'll try to go to node two node five node seven a lot of guys are there so please try out everyone node eight so let's see for node two if i try to take the distance it'll be four will i consider it no we have already reached it so this will be discarded so let's discard it what will be the distance four again have i reached five yes at a three distance this is four so discarded what will be this distance four for seven it's infinity so you'll say four and you'll take seven comma four and you'll put it so this is taken what about eight eight will have a distance four because i'll do a plus one so eight comma four will also be taken into consideration so what i've done is i've updated the distance array and i put it into the queue data structure as well so i'll erase it perfect let's get the next guy five comma three so node is five the distance is three so what will you do you'll try to get the adjacent nodes of five again that's four and six so let's write four and let's write six as well what will be the distance it's three so plus one plus one more than it the distance will be now four over here the distance will be four again so what i can say is for node four the distance was previously two so i'll discard it and over here for node six the distance was three so i'll discard it as well so let's discard both of them so we did not get any new shorter distance so i'll just erase it what is the next thing that i'll do i'll take seven comma four so from node seven where can you go let's quickly have a check six and eight so let's try to go to node uh, six and node eight perfect what is the distance 
Can I say it will be a plus one? So distance will be five. Can I say it will be a plus one over here? So distance will be five. So as of now, node six at a distance five. We already reached it at a distance three. No need to take it. So discard it. What about this node eight? Has already been reached with four. So discard it. So again, I have made sure that this uh, does not give me any shorter ones. And last one is node eight with a distance four. So what the adjacent of eight? Six. So let's try for six. You'll get the distance as five because you do a plus one. And the other node is seven. So you'll get the distance as five again. And seven, you can see, is already been reached with four. So no new nodes with shorter distance are found. So ultimately, you'll see that Q becomes empty. Ultimately, you'll see that Q becomes empty. So all the nodes that were reachable has been updated with their shortest distance. And if any node was unreachable, it would have stored the value infinity. If any node was unreachable, it would have stored the value infinity. Apart from that, you can see the shorter distance being updated in the distance array. So that is how easily you can solve this particular problem by following a simple BFS algorithm. And instead of a visited, we keep a distance array, which tells me what is the shortest distance that has been previously visited to this particular guy. So I hope you've understood the entire explanation. It's time to code it up. So as usual, I'll be coding the C++ code on the right and you can figure out the exact similar Java code on the left. So what are we given? We are given uh, the edges, the NM and the source node. So at first we need to create the graph. So let's quickly uh, create the graph. So vector of uh, adjacency list and then we can go across all the edges. That's how you do it. And if this is the vector, I can say adjacency of it of zero because that's the edge. And I can say it of one is when you push it. Remember, it's an uh, undirected graph. So it will have both side edges. So make sure you create the graph like this. So once the graph is created, what did I tell you? you need to create something as a distance array, right? So kindly go across and say distance of n. And everything needs to be initialized with an infinite value. So go across and initialize that with an infinite value. So distance of i will be, well, I'll keep the infinite as 1 in 9. And then I know the source, whatever is the source given, because source to source is always 0. So that is what I'll give. And right after that, what I'll do is I'll say q, okay. And I'll start the q with the source itself. So q dot push. I'll keep the source. Now, what do I need to do? I need to uh, travel in the queue till it is not empty because I need to perform a standard DFS. Sorry, standard BFS rather. This is what I'll do. After this, I'll say int node equal to q dot front. Once I've said that, I can do q dot pop. And after that, I need to travel to all its adjacent nodes. That's quite simple. If you do this, this in this way, you can travel through all the adjacent nodes. What's now? What is it? It is an adjacent node uh, to the node, right? So in order to reach from node, so till node, it's distance of node. From there, one more because every edge has a unit distance. So one more. If that's lesser than to what I require previously to reach the node it. So what I'll do is I'll go distance of it one plus distance of node. That is what I'll do. And I'll ask the queue. Can you please store it because it's a new node. So can you please go and store it? Once I've done that, I'll go back to the question and say, uh, I'll read the question and it says that you have to find the shortest path and return minus one if it is not possible. So I need to return a list. So really I can uh, uh, keep something like an answer of n size and everything initially initialized to minus one. And I can go across all the nodes, which is quite simple. And right after that, what I'll say is, hey, listen, if uh, the distance of i is not equal to 1 e 9, because initially we stored 1 e 9, assuming that none of them are reachable. If it is not, then we know it's reachable, thereby it has updated its distance. So I'll say answer of i is equal to distance of i. So for all the nodes which will contain 1 e 9, it'll stay as minus one. Otherwise, we'll update the answer. And right at the end of the day, what I can say is, can I please return this list? Once you've done this, what you can do is compile and run this. So you'll see that all the test cases are running absolutely fine. So a quick uh, thing. Why do we uh, follow the queue method and why not the standard algorithms that we are going to learn in the future? So if you clearly see that since it is increasing by plus one, as you saw in the explanation, the queue will always store like the first it will store source, which will take distance zero. Then the next guys will come at that will always come at distance one because 
the edge weight is increasing by one then the distance two will come then the distance three will come so if you look at the queue it's already sorted first the source at zero then distance one then distance two distance three it's already in the sorted order so you didn't need so you don't need something like a sorted data structure to sort them in distance that is why queue does work in a proper way and the time complexity taken will be similar to what we usually take in a bfs algorithm so you can call this as a bfs algorithm where we have applied a slide of greedy algorithm to make sure that we always compress the distance and this is how you can easily store it and if i talk about the overall space we are creating the graph so that's going to take some space we're using the distance we're using the queue so these three are taking some space and about the time complexity it is more uh, similar to what the bfs generally takes which is v plus 2e so that is what the time complexity will be if you omit these uh, things in overall you can say v plus 2e so guys i hope i was able to explain you this particular problem just in case i was please 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 make sure you like this video and if you're new to our channel please do consider subscribing to us that is my only request and if you haven't checked out our dp series and the sd sheet the links are in the description please please do make sure you check it out with this let's wrap up this video and meet in some other till then bye bye take care